this is what I mean by the tomatoes. Just a few days, so much came up. Unbelievable. These ones should start coming out soon. Beans are looking alright. These all go into the tunnel. Gonna water the potatoes. Gonna start pricking out some of these because they're getting quite big. So yeah, I'm just gonna spend an hour on this. But yep, yeah. well, as much as I can. I'm just gonna do some watering quickly, then crack on. Okay, so I've pricked out quite a few so far. I'm gonna do some more tomorrow because I've ran out of compost, so I just have to go and get something. But I have to get some, I'm sorry. But I just want to show you, I've got two more pots there. I want to show you which way I do it. I'll just get something pointy on the end, go down, try not to hit the root, go down, pull up, and then put up by the leaves. Look at that, perfect root, that's all of the root. Place it down into the pot, like that. Obviously, you can do it with two hands. Press it down, make sure it's upright, sorted. And then if you'll see, I pick out the best ones, like this one I just pulled out a minute ago, but I thought I'd show you one. So yeah, that's the perfect one. Let's get that soil off there. I normally put a hole in the pot so the root can sit down in. Like that. Make sure you don't break the roots. Really easy, even if you break a little bit of root, they could die. I, um, I broke a couple of roots a minute, well, a few days ago, and the ones that I actually planted died. So, yeah, gotta repot them. Yeah, I've done a few of them. I'll leave these ones just to get a little bit stronger. I can do these few here, but I have got them ones coming up in the other ones in the other pots. Yeah, I'll just give these a little water, and then tomorrow I will probably prick out some more. But I've done a few more. It's ton to do yet, but the, because the frost took them, took the um the other seeds out, which put us back literally three weeks behind. So yeah, but I'll give these the water. You have to be very careful you don't over water them because they'll die. Like there, I broke, you can know if you broke a root. Look at that one, obviously I broke that root. No root there, so that one's no good. But yeah, you have to be very careful when you prick them out. The slightest damage on the roots, they won't grow. These all cherry. Yeah, just gonna give that thing a little bit of a water. Then, awesome. And then it'll be all right then. Uh, just give them tomatoes a little bit of a water. Yeah, it's gonna be a fair old amount to do still. Uh, I'm gonna go out in a minute. I'll show you my potatoes coming up. I'm on my phone because I forgot my camera. Yeah, fill this table up here. And then we'll go from there.
Right, catch you in a second. These are the ones I planted well, well, about a week or two ago. So big they're grown. Doing alright, gave them their first little bit of feed. Not too strong, you don't want it too strong to start off with feeding tomatoes. But yeah, perfect. Leaves are doing nicely. So, I normally plant them um, a uh, fourth or fifth leaf coming on. So, these are perfect, settled in the ground okay. Got to do loads of weeding next week, which I'll do, because before you know it, all that will be going into the ground. So yeah, now let's go and show you these potatoes. It's a bit windy today, so you might hear quite a bit of wind noise. Beans are looking alright. A couple of them got a bit of wind burn, where the wind's hitting the leaves, which is not the best, but can't do nothing about it. It's a bit protected because it's got the net there, but yeah, hopefully they'll be alright. Gave these potatoes a little water yesterday. Hopefully we'll have a bit of rain soon. Carrots are coming up alright-ish. What I can see, well, I'm guessing they're carrots, they look like carrot um, tops. I'm not sure. I don't know if they're carrot tops or not. I have to look online, I think. It's like a whole cluster there. I don't know if they're weeds or actually carrots right there as well. I don't know if they're carrots or not coming up. Cluster coming up there. I don't know. The earth's just blown up. Oh, I have to research it to see what the first seeds look like. But yeah, let's go and show you the potatoes. Oh, it's windy today. Lovely day yesterday. So yeah, the potatoes are coming up. You see there. Potato. There's a few of them. Start this the first ones we planted, me and my dad. So yeah, I'll just walk up and see if I can notice any more out. This ground's quite lumpy so it's, it's taking them a while to push up through. Just gonna see if I can see any more coming up. But yeah, they even have started, so the other ones should follow. Once we have a nice bit of decent rain, I reckon they're definitely popping up quite quick. But yeah, at least there are signs of them coming up, so can't see any more at the moment. Just keep watching it, I suppose, and give you a weekly update how good they get coming up. Yeah, I can't see any more coming up. I see these few here. But yeah, that is the start anyway of the potatoes, so which is good.